Shalom and welcome. This episode will cover the question, What is Abraham and the ancient Israelites Why DNA haplogroup? We will specifically speak from the perspective of the paternal descendants of Abraham. Because I'm aware that other lineages and haplogroups could have been among the Israelites, but for this video, our main goal is to look for the direct bloodline lineage of Abraham and his descendants. What will be their haplogroup? With that being said, what is a Y DNA haplogroup? A Y chromosome is passed down from father to son. According to livingdna.com titled, What are haplogroups? It reads, the paternal haplogroup relates to your Y chromosome. And since that is a sex determining chromosome for men, it is passed down from father to son. This is the perfect tool to use when trying to determine paternal lineages. Therefore, if we're looking for the Y DNA of Abraham and his descendants, we have to use haplogroups. Abraham's Y chromosome would have been passed down to his son Isaac, to his grandson Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, and then the Israelites themselves, who paternally descend from Abraham and will carry his Y DNA haplogroup. With that being said, let's look at the first and one of the best candidates, in my opinion, for Abraham and the Israelites Y DNA haplogroup. What is the best Y DNA haplogroup for Abraham and the Israelites? My top three haplogroups for Abraham and the Israelites, starting with number one, is E1B1, also known as E-P2. And then for number two, out of my top three is E-M35, but specifically E-M78 and its subclades. For number three out of my top three is E-M35, specifically E-Z830 and its subclades. Starting with number three, E-Z830 is the third best candidate for Abraham and the Israelites. The Israelites would represent some subclade within E-Z830. The reason I say this is because many Jews and Arabs are under E-Z830. E-Z830 is even considered to be one of the major founding lineages of the Jewish population. According to the paper titled A Mosaic of People, the Jewish story and a reassessment of the DNA evidence. It reads, in fact, the best candidate for possibly E3B Israelite ancestry among the Jews is E-M123. This subclade occurs in almost the same proportions, approximately 10 through 12% among both Ashkenazim and Sephardim. According to Cruciani in 2004, E-M123 probably originated in the Middle East since it is found in a large majority of the population from that area and then back migrated to Ethiopia. Yet the fact that both Sephardim and Ashkenazim possess this subclade in similar high frequency supports an Israelite slash Middle Eastern origin. And according to wide DNA haplogroup E, E1B1B and E1B1A it reads, this haplogroup has a long presence in the Near East as well as demonstrated by its occurrence in ancient remains in the Levant and mummies in Egypt. Today, a significant contingent of Ashkenazi 20% and Sephardi 30% Jews belong to a specific sub-haplogroup of E-M215, defined by the mutation E-M123, supporting this as a major founding lineage of the Jewish people. As you can see, E-Z830 is a great candidate for the Israelites and the Ishmaelites. If you type in SMP tracker, you will see various subclades of E-Z830 in the Arabian Peninsula and other parts of the Middle East, but you'll also see a very high distribution of these subclades around the Mediterranean and in Europe. And the split seems to occur in the Levant, in the Middle East, where both the Israelites and the Ishmaelites and other descendants of Abraham would have been and would have migrated from. Therefore, I say E-Z830 is the third best candidate for Abraham's haplogroup and therefore the Israelites. E-M78 is the second best candidate for Abraham and the Israelites. 
the Israelites would represent some subclade of E-M78. The reason I say this is because the Samaritan Levites in Israel carry this haplogroup, as well as the lower rabbinical family who claim descent from King David and have one of the oldest family trees in the world also descends from E-M78. According to the paper titled Why DNA Research Studies of Rabbinical Lineages and Their Importance to Jewish Genealogy, it reads, the Laura rabbinical lineage has one of the oldest family trees in the world, claiming to trace back at least to King David, born circa 1037 BCE. The first Laura in the lineage was Rabbi Aaron Laura, circa 1400 through 1480, who married Miriam Pira, the daughter of Rabbi Shlomo Pira, the founder of the Shapiro rabbinical lineage. The predicted haplogroup to which the two pedigree Laura descendants belong is E-M35. The previous nomenclature for this haplogroup E1B1B1 was cited for Laura's descendants of Rabbi Jerichel Laura circa 1435 through 1490. And according to JewishDNA.net, the FTDNA Laura project has several descendants from the line Laura, as reported on Encyclopedia.com. The information on this and other sites gives Samson Laura, born near Westlisi, 1325, and became rabbi in Erfurt. This branch is in the E1B-V12 group of Jewish branches. This branch is a member of the Ashkenazi branches. And according to Davidic Dynasty, which records all the descendants of King David, it reads, The Laura Legacy, the House of Davidic Royal Descent by Nell Rosenstein compiles the sources for Rashi and hence Davidic descent of the major rabbinic families through the Laura family. The Laura family is a very ancient family tracing its roots back through Rashi and Hillel to King David. Now for the Levites. The priestly Kohen lineage from the tribe of Levi, the biggest and most important Samaritan family, the Kohen family, tradition, tribe of Levi, was found to belong to haplogroup E. This article predated the change of the classification of haplogroup E3B1-M78 to E3B1A-M78 and the further subdivision of E3B1A-M78 into six subclades based on the research of Cruciani et al. And according to JewishDNA.net it says, The owner of this kit reports himself as Kohen, tribe of Levi, Israelite Samaritan. This branch is in the E1B-V22 group of Jewish branches. This branch is a member of the Samaritan branches. Therefore, Abraham could be a downstream of E-M78, either EV22 or EV12. If you type in SNP tracker E-M78, you see a distribution of E-M78 in the Middle East, specifically the Arabian Peninsula, the Arabs, but also in the Mediterranean and Europe with the Jews. And the split occurs in the Levant, which is where the Ishmaelites and Israelites were located. With that being said, E-M78 is the second best candidate I have for Abraham and therefore the Israelites. Now with all of that being said, the number one best candidate I have for the haplogroup of Abraham is E1B1, also known as E-P2. If Abraham is E1B1, not only would Israel be downstreams of E1B1A and E1B1B, this also includes Ishmaelite Arabs, Midianites, Moabites, Ammonites, and Edomites, and other descendants of Abraham. All of these groups could represent some individual subclade under E1B1 or E-P2. Abraham as E1B1 leaves more possibilities open for who might be Israel. And it's not just me saying this, there are papers that illustrate that Abraham could be E1B1. According to the article titled, Resurrecting the Ancient Israelites from the Valley of Dry Bones, it reads, Other people may find that they are close to Abraham, a Turkish man, E1B1, who led a group of Anatolians to what he might have thought was the Promised Land. Interestingly, the Y chromosomal haplotype of the ancient Israelites are typically E1B1 and T1 haplotypes, commonly found today in Africa with lower frequencies in the Middle East and Europe. 
and on a Jewish-owned Facebook page titled Ancient Israelites DNA, the admin and another person were discussing the likely haplogroup of Abraham and the Israelites. Josiah says, I looked at a chart of the haplogroup E on Wikipedia and saw that there are three branches of E1b1, E1b1a, E1b1b, the Anatolian Abraham, and E1b1c. The E1b1b are the ancient Israelites and the DNA which we will be compared to? Question mark. Then the admin of the page responds saying, The ancient Israelites currently in the test have E1b1, E1b1b2, and a lot of T's. Note that the Judeans had almost solely T. If Abraham truly is E1b1, this would mean that the Israelites are a mixture of E1b1a and E1b1b. If you take a look at SMP Tracker and type in E-P2, you see it spread throughout the Middle East, Africa, and Europe, but its origin point is in the Levant. Therefore, I say E-P2 is the best candidate for Abraham since his descendants could represent various subclades within this branch. And therefore, the Israelites could be a mixture of E1b1a and E1b1b. With that being said, have a blessed day and Shalom.